Let's talk about the steps required to perform an implicit differentiation. The process of implicit differentiation is required when differentiating an equation with respect to x and in that equation variables other than x appear. In this problem y equals 7x squared plus 5x minus 3y squared. If we were being asked to differentiate with respect to x, implicit differentiation would be required for the two terms that involve a variable other than x. Let's take a look at four steps that can be used to perform an implicit differentiation. The first step is to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And this, the, the last four words there with respect to x are important. Every term that you differentiate, if it's a variable other than x, you'll have to use implicit differentiation to find the derivative. On the left side of the equation, we have y equals. And we take when we take the derivative of y with respect to x, that can be written in a couple different ways. One way, dy over dx, liter literally is read aloud the derivative of y with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x. That can also be stated as y prime, which is what we'll do here. We're going to consider y prime to mean the derivative of y with respect to x. On the right side of the equation, the derivative of 7x squared with respect to x is simply 14x. The variable in the term 7x squared is x, so when we differentiate with respect to x, normal differentiation rules can be applied, in this case the power rule. The second term, 5x, the derivative of 5x with respect to x, well, the variable here is x, so nothing special has to happen. The derivative of 5x is simply 5. The last term, minus 3y squared, this is where implicit differentiation will have to happen because we're differentiating with respect to x, but the variable is y. Implicit differentiation is actually uh, applied using the chain rule. And what I'm going to do, because this variable is something other than x, I'm going to first differentiate 3y squared using the power rule, 2 times 3 being 6, y to the first power. But because this variable is something other than x, I'm going to have to chain along, at the end, the derivative of y with respect to x. And I'm using the derivative of y with respect to x as y prime. So this last term is really implicit differentiation in a nutshell. The derivative of 3y squared with respect to x is 6y to the first power times the derivative of y with respect to x, which is y prime. The second step, it, after performing implicit differentiation, there is going to be some terms in the derivative that involve a factor of y prime, or dy over dx. And in this problem, we have two factors that involve a y prime. Step two says move all terms involving y prime to the left side of the equation and the other terms to the right side. So in this case, I have a y prime that's already on the left side of the equation, but I'm also going to have to move 6y times y prime. That's the other term in this equation that has a factor of y prime. I'm also going to have to move that to the right side or to the left side of the equation. That can be accomplished by adding to both sides of the equation 6y times y prime. So I'm going to add to the left side of the equation 6y times y prime. The other two terms in this derivative, 14x and 5, do not involve a factor of y prime. So those are going to be moved to the right side of the equation. Or in this case, they're already on the right side of the equation. They're going to stay there. Step 3. On the left side of the equation, where we have all of the terms that involve a factor of y prime, we're going to factor y prime out to the front. So between these two terms, there's, there's a common factor of y prime. And if I factor that out to the front, I would be left with the quantity of 1 plus 6y. So here, all that has occurred is that between these two terms, y prime and 6y times y prime, I factored y prime out to the front was left with 1 plus 6y inside the parentheses. Note that if you would distribute y prime back through the parentheses, you would end up with what you had on the line above. The fourth and final step to implicit differentiation is, is then simply to solve for y prime. 
which is pretty easy at this point because once it's factored out to the front of the left side of the equation, you can simply divide both sides of the equation by, in this case, 1 plus 6y, the quantity of 1 plus 6y, and the equation will be solved for y prime. On the left side of the equation, the 1 plus 6y quantities divide away to be 1, and I'm left with y prime equals 14x plus 5 over 1 plus 6y. y prime equals the derivative of y with respect to x equals 14x plus 5 over 1 plus 6y. Note that in an equation where you're taking the derivative with respect to x and factors involving y are also included in the original equation, the derivative will likely have factors of y as well.